there's so many things that are the best part. There's, it's hard to pick one. This house is cool. The people who I've met, the view, I mean, it's great. Yeah. Everything. Just, this, just mm -hmm. the fact that it's an experience that I never would have had before. Mm -hmm. um, if I go home this week, then it's still going to be... It's still going to be an experience that I can look back on and remember mm -hmm. um, friends I've met, people who people in the industry really that I've met. I've mm -hmm. talked to this dog on the phone with me. I have his number. He called me. What? You know that type of thing. It, I mean, there's Diane Warren promised she's going to write a song for me. That type of thing. Really? So it's just it's just really something that I never would have been able to do had it mm -hmm. not been for, for American Idol. How many times? Do, how many more times do I have to prove to you people that I cannot dance? <laughs> I can't be on Broadway. I don't strive to be Broadway. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, I think an argument could be made that people who are on Broadway possibly have the best voices, of, you know, better voices than other people. So I think there's, mm -hmm. there's a it's a it's, it's a two-sided coin because mm -hmm. is he? I mean, I know that he's complimenting me, and I really feel that Simon likes me. Mm -hmm. I think he does. And I know that he's complimenting me and saying that I have saying that I have a good voice. He's saying, I think he said, but you know, you're not originally what the competition was looking for. There was really a, a, a point in the show where I would get so nervous walking out on stage, not because of the audience, but really the audience I love, not because of anything other than, oh gosh, what is Simon going to say to me? Really? Um, I was not so nervous that it made me upset, mm -hmm. but just because I thought oh gosh, if he says something mean, then I'm going to get voted off. But I made it through disco mm -hmm. after he said I was horrible or mm -hmm. terrible or whatever he said. Dreadful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I made it through um, the week he said I had a facial expression. But I made it mm -hmm. through last week. So I'm really at a point now where I figure I'm just going to go out there and do my best and do what I hope the audience likes. Mm -hmm. And at this point, I've just got to hope that that's good enough. Mm -hmm. If he says something nasty and mean, I'm just going to pretend he didn't say it. You know? I don't want to ever say Simon was right about anything, but I, and, I'm, and I'm a little bit ashamed to say that there were a few weeks where I did just walk, where I picked a song because I liked it, not because it was challenging or not because it was the best song to sing. I picked it because I liked it, and I hoped that I would make it through. Mm -hmm. At this moment, might have been one of them for me, um, because it was just a song that I loved so much. Mm -hmm. It was not so much a challenging song. Mm -hmm. But it was something. So I think I did walk through competition a little bit for a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Now there's no more walking as far as I'm concerned. I think this show is successful because of Simon, mm -hmm. in large part. Mm -hmm. I think if Simon were more constructive and less brutal, mm -hmm. it might not be as big, as big a show as it is. Right. So that's my politician thing. <laughs> Because I really don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he's punching it up. He is, he's direct and honest when you see him backstage. Mm -hmm. He might not be as harsh. He wouldn't say, you may go to the stages backstage probably. But he's direct and honest. Um, so that's him. Mm -hmm. um, he gets more creative on the show, I think. Um, so when he says something really negative, I don't think that I necessarily, um, I, look, I, I, try to, I try to find what part of what he's saying is true and do mm -hmm. I need to work on it.